Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for a Heyday video. Now it's the Heyday Valley, it's coming to the game very very soon indeed. And this time we're heading on to Denmark. Now the deco in this case relates to a very special activity, but to get it you've got to play the game. So head on over to the valley, open it up and you'll see that wonderful map. As you look around the map you'll see lots of clouds, lots of buildings and lots of escaped animals. You've got to find those animals on the map, and if you find them, then deliver them to one of the sanctuaries. Three is the maximum at the time. Now, once you've collected those animals, you've taken them to the sanctuary, you'll get a reward, which is lots and lots of tokens, which means your piggy bank will fill up very, very quickly indeed. Oh, I love this valley. Now, with those tokens, you can buy items in the shop, or you can save them up and get one of the special items that comes a little bit later. Remember, you've got to collect a specific number of animals, do that, and then decide how you want to spend. Personally, I'm going to go for the deco, but there's also diamonds and boosters as well. Now, as I said, we're heading on over to Denmark and we've got a wonderful decoration within the game. Now, this is the bit that I enjoy. I love to talk about the deco and the theme behind it, and that's what I'm going to do today. So we're going to talk about Denmark, we're going to talk about the Little Mermaid, and let's get right on into it. Now, Denmark itself occupies the peninsula of Jutland, which extends northward from the centre of the continent of Western Europe, and an archipelago of more than 400 islands to the east of the peninsula. That's quite a large area. I definitely wouldn't like to walk it. Well, I'd have to swim some of it, but either way, Denmark is definitely a popular location to go visit. Now, along with Norway and Sweden, Denmark is part of the northern European region known as Scandinavia. Now, the country's capital is Copenhagen, which is where the deco is actually located. And this is located primarily on Zealand. Uh, the second largest city, Arus, is the major urban centre on Jutland. Now, what is Copenhagen known for? Well, Copenhagen is known for being the city of fairy tales, reputed to be the happiest city in the world. It's known for its canals, excellent food, the Tivoli Gardens, and for once being the home to the children's right to Hans Christian Andersen. It's also famous for the Danish language. So let's go through those items and have a look in detail. So according to the website, which is down below at the bottom of this image, you can find out all about these 15 things that Copenhagen is known for. So go check them out. There's a lot of really interesting detail that relates to all of them. I couldn't go into too much detail here. But today I'm going to focus on number four, which is the Little Mermaid. Now you all know that I am a Heyday creator. Well, Heyday asked me if I would be the model for this decoration. I said, not a problem. I came up out of the water. I sat down. I posed for it. And there you go, everybody. So life model Red Knight and the Little Mermaid statue looks just like me. And if I do say so, they got my features very nice indeed. But what is the Little Mermaid? Well, arguably one of Copenhagen's most iconic tourist attractions. The sculpture of the Little Mermaid was inspired by Hans Christian Andersen's famous fairy tale. Now, the fairy tale has also been made into a couple of movies, and I'll talk about that towards the end of the video, because there are some differences between the original and the movies. Now, unveiled in 1913 on the 23rd of August, The Little Mermaid was a gift from the Danish brewer Carl Jagerson to the city of Copenhagen. The sculpture is made of bronze and granite and sits in the water of the Langeline Pier. I'd love to go visit, by the way. Now, it was inspired by Hans Christian Andersen's famous fairy tale about a mermaid who gives up everything to be united with the young, handsome prince of the land. <sighs> ay, 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 young infatuations for handsome princes. Now, I can understand that, uh, but at the end of the day, things don't always work out well. Every morning and evening she swims to the surface from the bottom of the sea and perched on the rock of the water she stares longingly towards the shore hoping to catch a glimpse of her beloved prince. I'm here, my darling, look at me, I'm waving. So send me your love Mwah, to you as well. Yes, interesting story. Now, Carl Jacobson fell in love with the character after watching a ballet performance based on the fairy tale at the Royal Danish Theatre in Copenhagen. Now, I love the theatre, I love the ballet, and I've seen many myself. If you ever get the chance, please do go. They are definitely worth it. 
Now, the brewer was so captivated by both the fairy tale and the ballet that he commissioned the sculptor Edward Erickson to create a sculpture of the mermaid. Uh, now, when it came down to actually creating this sculpture, I wonder who he chose to pose for. For heyday, they chose me. Let's find out now who he wanted to get. Now, the sculptor was inspired by the ballerina Ellen Prince, sorry, Ellen Price, who in 1909 danced the lead role in the ballet The Little Mermaid at the Royal Theatre. However, she would not model in the nude for the sculptor Edward Erickson. I can understand that. Thus, Erickson's wife, uh, Alina Erickson, posed for the mermaid. Cool. She's a very beautiful young lady, if I do say so, from looking at the original. Now, the Little Mermaid has several times been victim of vandalism. Twice she's lost her head, once her arm was sawn off, and several times she's had paint poured on her. Why can't people just leave things alone? Uh, like, I really don't understand it. Now, every time she was rescued and restored, so she can stay in her place by the water and bid travellers welcome to Copenhagen Harbour. I'm glad about that. Yes, indeed. Now, the story is certainly one of the most popular cartoons of the 1990s and 2000s. Ariel, a young mermaid, dreams of becoming a human and living on the surface herself. With the help of a friend, she disobeys her father, King Triton, and trades her precious voice for a pair of legs with the witch Ursula. <sighs> Not a good idea indeed. Now, I've seen the movies and I've read the books, so this is actually a very interesting part of the video. Now, but once upon the land, the young woman who finds a sailor she has fallen in love with, Prince Everson, must succeed in making him fall under her spell in less than three days, without the help of her voice. Should she fail, she would end up a... up damned by the witch's curse. Three days to make someone fall in love with you. In a cartoon it's possible, but in real life, not a chance in hell. But either way, young lady, good luck. Now, only a true love's kiss can save her, and the whole plot of the film leads viewers to hope for the happy ending, which eventually comes. But that's the trouble with movies. They often have happy endings, but that's not always the case, as we know in real life. So, if you do have an infatuation with someone, please don't give up your voice uh, and a beautiful tale just to get a pair of legs. Mm -hmm. At least this is Disney's 1989 version, so, and I've saw, seen the version, it was good, I liked it. There's also a live action one that is coming very soon, and I'm hoping to watch that as well. Sometimes live actions can be very good, but I did hear that the actual actress can't swim, so that's going to be interesting to see how they deal with that one. But either way, I'm looking forward to it myself. Now, although Disney opted to make it a love story, this very much not the plot of the original as written by Hans Christian Andersen. In fact, in 1837, the author of the Danish tale published Den Lil Hefre, the Rumoid, a story that is very different from the one retold by the animation studio. But that's okay, though. Disney does take a lot of beautiful stories and modifies and creates them, as do most film studios. So, watch both of them, but also read the book. In the original tale, the Little Mermaid fell under the spell of a human whom she saves from drowning. But unlike Disney's adaption, she was not driven to wish for legs out of curiosity for life on Earth, or her love for the princes. Mm. So why did she want a pair of legs? Why did she want to go up onto the land when she had everything below the sea? What was it that drove her? Well, let's find out. Now, in Anderson's story, the young mermaid learns that the souls of humans are eternal and decides to go to the witch to get legs so that she too can acquire this ability by marrying a human. Really? She wants to be eternal? No, 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 no. Well, I guess she did become eternal. Her story is now there for everybody to read and to learn from, uh, even if there is a romantic version later. Next one, once again, the Danish author story is much less squeamish than Disney's. The Little Mermaid has her tongue cut out by the witch, and the creation of her legs is so painful that every step she takes feels as if she's been pierced by knives. Ooh! Don't like the sound of that. Tongue cut out? Uh, uh, no, couldn't do that one. No way. I wouldn't give up my tongue. I like to talk too much. Next one. Similarly, you'll find no happily ever after for Hans Christian Andersen. The prince falls in love with another woman <laughs> and decides to marry her. That's going to suck. So Ariel knows she's doomed to have her heart broken, literally, and to be turned into sea foam. Well, you didn't really want to marry the man, so I guess he probably guessed that. You were just after an eternal soul, so no sympathy on that side. 
Now, in a fit of despair, urged by her sisters, the young woman decides to stab Prince Eric, her only means of breaking her curse and becoming a mermaid again. Seriously? She falls for the guy, but she actually doesn't really love him. She just wants to live eternal. She can't have him because he has found his true love. So out of fit of jealousy, she decides to stab him. Come on, ladies, that's not the way to go. But at the last moment, she decides to spare him. Oh, that's nice of her. She throws herself into the sea, ready to accept her fate, as she should. She joins a metaphorical paradise. Really? The woman of the air, as a reward for her good deed. Good! Indeed, she wanted to stab the guy and kill him, just so she could return back to mermaid ship. Right, how is that a good deed? Damn, rewarded for being horrible and not committing the crime. No great love story then. Hans Christian Andersen portrays a young woman who idealizes her future and sacrifices everything to get there without taking into account the risks and warning. So ladies, Take care. What you desire is not what you can always have. And guys, watch out for the lady that comes along with a knife in her hands. It's not her love for the prince that drives her to leave the ocean, but her desire to be immortal. Now, as I said, this is a Little Mermaid statue. It's for the November Valley Deco. I can't wait to get it. It's going to be fun to have as well. This is Valley 38, and it's a sanctuary. We're going to Denmark, as you know, for this valley, so I'm looking forward for you to read that little bit of a story if you've got this far, and also to play the valley when it starts in just under a day. Now, for myself as a content creator, if you would like to, please do use my code R3DKNIGHT. Make sure you type it in, no spaces in front and in back. Don't use autofill, then it will work. And if you want to support me, please do. Or you can support one of the other content creators. All is good. But what's most important, see that little round circle there? That's the subscribe button. Click that, hit the bell notification, and you can follow me and get all of my videos when they are uploaded. There's also a playlist and videos there to watch so enjoy those but either way i'll see you in the valley good luck everybody bye now